Well, hello again from Kingston, where this week's theme is teamwork. That's what makes everything on this project go so well. It's a team effort from start to finish. Been a busy week, so let's get right into it. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. Catch you at the end. We're going to examine this week's progress by going day to day and following certain themes. Starting with the West End, where significant work has been done to create the approach road to the bridge. It was also an indication of developments to come when the video camera which used to be beside the main entrance was moved to one side. Closer to the main spans themselves, work was being done to shape what will be the embankment beside the bridge approach. Across the river, around Gore Road and Highway 15, Williams Paving continued the excellent work they'd done last week on some of the smaller sidewalks and other areas. A delivery of concrete signalled the start of a major pour to fill the moment walls on both the north and south sides behind the east abutment. Nearby, the capable team from Linkline Fence Limited was putting the final touches to the fence that runs down to join the east abutment. Up on the steel span, work was taking place to position the massive steel forms that contain the concrete to form the barrier walls. Whilst elsewhere, on the north side of the steel span, work continued to remove the supporting angle brackets that are no longer required. At Pier 6, the challenging task, test fitting and adjusting the expansion joint continued. There is no room for error in this work. Tuesday on the West End saw continuing efforts to clear up the space that will allow development of approaches to continue. And Sousa Redimix made a first appearance on the West End to lay the strings that guide the curbing machine. A very encouraging sign of things to come. On the Gore Road fence line, Link Line were placing the capping strips and the strips that cover the gaps in the fence. Another very encouraging sign of progress was the delivery of reinforcing rod to span 22, the final span. But unquestionably, the day's major event was a Gomako pour on span 14, showing off once again the extraordinary teamwork of the concrete crew. It's worth mentioning too that on Tuesday, as part of the preparations to remove the temporary causeway, the cabins that had previously resided there were brought up to Gore Road. Wednesday on the West End saw some excavation likely for lamp posts or other controls, the completion of Sousa's work to string for curbing, and the arrival of the curbing machine. But the arrival of concrete on the east end signalled that this was going to be where the most significant work occurred that day. A concrete bucket carrying 4 cubic metres and weighing 16,000 pounds, controlled and managed by a highly skilled team, repeatedly and reliably delivered concrete to the wall forms on the steel span, using the methods most appropriate to each circumstance, including a wheelbarrow and the mega mixer. Other tasks on Wednesday included repositioning the support box for the 1200 crane, removing surplus timber from the margins of Gore Road, and the positioning of reinforcing rod on span 22 for installation by the crack team from ABF. Beginning with the creation of the initial trench in which the curb would lie 
Thursday's highlight was undoubtedly the installation of the first curbs on the West End. The process is remarkably clever and produces very consistent results to a very high standard. The bar team in the meantime were engaged in work to prepare for installation of concrete vaults and additional drainage, a process that included the relocation of some of those concrete vaults. Overall, the West End was a pretty busy scene on Thursday. On the East End, the Gore Road fence was now complete, and preparations appeared to be underway for further work on the walls atop the steel span. Sure enough, well before midday on Friday, the concrete bucket was once again at work providing concrete to pour walls on the steel span. The Mega Mixer was also hard at work, with the whole operation heavily dependent on the expert management of both the crane and the concrete bucket. With the closest coordination and considerable experience both playing critical roles. Concrete was also delivered on Friday to the moment wall above the green wall by the east abutment. Over on the west side, a small fleet of trucks from John's Grading Services kept the grader well supplied with fine gravel, making significant inroads into final preparations for paving on the first approach road. And now, some wildlife. Well, that was quite a busy week. I hope you like the day-by-day uh, -day way of handling things. And uh, whether you feel one way or the other, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you next week. Bye for now.